Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's episode, we're going to go back to an earlier tutorial that we did and we're going to go a little bit more in depth with the explanation. Uh, all the way back in episode one, we did a download and installation and I showed you where you could go to get vMix UTC and that you also had to download an additional file for NDI Monitor. And then in episode two, I showed you how to use NDI monitor in your UTC setup, but I really didn't go into as much detail as I could have at that time. You can set up NDI monitor and have everything set up perfectly in vMix UTC, but it's still not display anything in your NDI monitor. And the reason for that has to do uh, with your vMix UTC settings. So today what we're going to do is we're going to set up NDI monitor and then I'm going to show you what you need to have your vMix UTC settings set up, to, set up on in order to get this to work correctly. So that's our topic today on One Man Stream. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up um, vmix utc and we've talked about this before but i'm going to show it to you again is you want to make sure you have it connected correctly so let's go up here under settings and then once that populates we're going to come down to where it says web controller and this is what we're looking for is the ip address and it's 192.168.1.66 so we're just going to copy that and then we're going to paste it in just a moment in the vmix utc uh, setup so we have it opened up what we're what we're going to do now is we're going to go to settings and we're going to get rid of that and then we're going to click on this and right click and paste and it's going to bring in that ip address so we're going to go up here to where it says sync and when we click on it you can see that it turns green i probably jumped the gun because i don't have anything open here but we're going to go ahead and open up this one right here that says boxing data sources. So we're gonna get rid of what's there. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna paste. It brings in that IP address that we got from our vMix settings. You can see that our sync button is turned green. And then when we go to layout, it's gonna go ahead and bring that in. And uh, you can tell that it's connected two ways. Down here at the bottom, it says online. And then up here, it says sync and it has a green light next to it. So you know that it's communicating the way that it should. Now, one thing you can do is if it's on the same computer uh, as your vMix production, when you go up here under settings, you can just type in localhost. Uh, it still remains synced. And then down here, it also says online. And we're going to click layout and everything seems to be okay. So now that we know that we have vMix UTC up and communicating with our uh, vMix production, what we're going to do now is we're going to use the widget button. We're going to come down where it says external data and we're going to click on NDI monitor. Then we're going to come over here to the right, find an open space and click. We're going to make this a little bit bigger. And we have to go up here to settings. And then we have to make sure that we have a certain file right here. That file I've already downloaded. You can see it right here uh, on this PC on my desktop. I keep it on my desktop so that it's handy. And this is the one that we got from the vMix UTC forum. You have to have this additional file or it will not display correctly. And please refer to our very first video, download and installation, and it'll show you how to do this. Okay, now if you look here, these are all the things from uh, my computer that are showing up in NDI. The only video asset that I have that's showing up is my web camera. And uh, all the rest of these are audio. Well, where's my, where's my output from my vMix UTC production? Why isn't that showing up? Well, that has to do with your vMix settings, and that's what we're going to cover now. So we're going to go up here to where it says settings. We're going to click on settings. And then we're gonna go to where it says outputs, NDI, and SRT. We wanna make sure that we have these turned on and you know that they're turned on when the color of them turns from gray to green. So now we have these two that are on. So output one is, uh, is going to show me, okay, here, let me show you this drop down menu. These are all the different things you can show as your output. You can show your main output, you can show your preview, 
You can show your multi-view, you can show replay, and then you can show any input that you have in your VMX UTC production. So for our case, we're gonna click on output. For our second one right here that we have turned on, we're gonna use preview. So we're gonna make sure that output one, where output is selected, and output two is where preview is selected. And then this right here is for full screen. You have two full screen options. You have all these different options you can choose to display. So what I generally do on my full screen one, I have that as output. And that way, if I'm, if I'm uh, sending my feed to some type of a projector or display within the venue, it's gonna show my main vMix output. The full screen, I usually use that for, uh, for myself during my production, and I have that set on multi-view. Well, let me just show you one more thing with multi-view. You have these different options that you can set your multi-view to. What I normally do is I'll customize it. So I'll come over here and I'll click on this button that says customize layout, and then you can actually choose what you wanna have in your uh, production. So what we'll do just for sake on this one, we'll have, we'll have desktop capture one, and then on number two, we'll have uh, desktop capture two. We'll do desktop capture three and desktop capture four. Let's go ahead and bring in the one man stream logo. We'll bring in our YouTube browser. Let's go ahead and bring in our webcam. And the last thing we're gonna bring in, and I normally do this when I'm setting up my multi-view, is I bring in my audio. Because I wanna be able to look at a glance. I spend most of my time looking at the, the multi-view. I'm, I'm able to look at a glance and tell that my audio is on. During intermissions and things like that, we sometimes have to uh, pause the audio. And I just wanna make sure that I always have audio going during my production and I'm not sending out dead air. And this is what our multi-view looks like. You can see our preview and our program. And then you can see the inputs that we selected. These are all of our desktop inputs we selected. This is our one-man stream logo that we selected. This is the webcam. This is our browser. And then this over here is our audio meter so that we know that we do have audio going out. Uh, into our production. So we did have to do a couple things in order to make that all work. So let's go back to this right here. And what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to go to settings. And what we did under outputs, ND, under outputs NDI and SRT, under our two full screen options, we chose output for full screen one and we chose multi-view for full screen two. Well, I actually have multi-view set up to go to monitor four in my particular setup. So I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to display and you can see on full screen two, I have it set up to go to monitor four and that's what gives us this view. And then go back to settings. And then under full screen one, I have that set up for monitor three and monitor three is actually this right here and that's what gives us our full screen output uh, the only other thing that i did want to mention and i want to mention it again is for our output you want to make sure you have them active they have to be green they start off gray as you click them to activate them they turn to ndi on and they turn green you also want to make sure you have cameras calls and audio inputs on and audio outputs on as well. And that way, any other machine that is hooked to your VMix production through your network will be able to access these uh, NDI uh, assets as well. This right here is our output two. And if you remember on output two, we had that set up as multi-view. And this is output one, which is our main output from our VMix production. Oftentimes the venues that we are at, I wanna get our our feed, they wanna get our output from our, our VMix production to display around the facility. So what we do is, is we just uh, shoot that out to a particular uh, monitor or a particular device that will uh, feed those displays. And then the people in house will actually be able to see uh, the exact same thing that the people at home are viewing as well. That concludes our tutorial for today. 
on NDI Monitor. Please give us a thumbs up and a like and make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you so much.